going on guys? Drew here with MSPP and today I'm going to be talking about one of my EDC knives. So this is the Splinter. It's offered up by Warrior Poet Society, aka John Lavelle, aka our Lord and Savior. The Splinter is a concealed carry shank, uh, for lack of a better term. Similarly designed to be like the clinch pick offered by Shivworks. The clinch pick, the cutting edge is on top of the blade. Splinter, it is obviously on the bottom. Also very, very sharp. So overall, the splinter is almost five and a half inches long. The blade length is about three and 3.1 inches. The handle is textured G10, so it's off really good grip. Uh, you're supposed to hold it in a fighting position, obviously in a punching position. They do have a spot where the grip and the tang have these texture ribs on them, in case you were wanting to really, you know, stabby stab somebody. The steel is OS8 steel, which is similar to 440 steel or D2 steel. It's a Japanese made steel. They have different element in it that keeps it hard. It's coated in a PVD method. If you don't know what PVD is, check it out. It's just a atomization of the finish on the blades. Uh, offers a long, durable finish. This one's offered in black, obviously has splinter. Really, really great little concealable blade. As far as the sheath goes, it does come with this sheath. It does not come with the belt loop hold here. Uh, that was something I added, something I decided to change. I didn't like the, it came with this, the J hook, typical in your concealed carry holster setups. Just the way they had it set up uh, interfered with deploying the blade. Let me go ahead and put this back in and show you. So the J hook was set up just like this. And with your belt being through here, you really had to dig to get past this and deploy the blade. So I chose to remove the J-hook and add a belt loop instead. Uh, works out a little better. It gives me a different variety of mounting options while I'm concealed carrying a pistol. Really good retention, adjustable retention on the sheath, obviously right here. You can adjust the retention on the blade. Uh, and you do want to lock tight your, whatever mounting option you choose, make sure you lock tight it. Uh, these Chicago screws tend to back out really easily over time. Cost me at the time, $79.99 for the blade. Uh, currently, I believe it's $89.99. Highly recommend the blade though. If you're not into EDC knives and you want a starting knife to add to your EDC, I'd recommend checking out WPS or even Shivworks. I have a couple of videos coming out about the Shivwork knives as well. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for the video today. Make sure you check out Warrior Poet Society. They have a lot of great training tools. Also check out Craig Douglas. He's an ECQC expert, retired police officer. Really great training stuff from him on how to use close quarter blades, pistols, etc. That's also on the Warrior Poet Society network, uh, subscription-based stuff. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Have a good one.